Grimson area. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode we really don't know anymore of Grim Scenarios. It's like we, 34. We or don't five know. Or nope, six. six, seven. We don't know when this is going to be released, so giving it a number would be problematic for our editor, who is already extremely annoyed with us all the time. <laughs> Let's just say it's episode 32B. Yeah, that sounds good. 32B. That won't, that won't cause any problem with RSS and trying to number episodes in any way, shape, or form. It's all good. It's, the joke is that if it's not 32B, which is, of course, a numbering system we don't use, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> uh, this is our live show. This is our second iteration of our live show. We um, hope it is as good as the first one, or better. In the first one, we had this cool thing. We were in Vegas, so we did this cool playing card thing where like, you, we gave out people playing cards, and then we drew playing cards. Uh, and you, that's how audience participation was decided for the most part. And then Emma shuffled the deck of playing cards that we were using to draw from with the cards we had not given out. Yeah, that was fun. And uh, so we had no idea who had a card and what it was. And so we've chosen a new option, which is that our wonderful editor, Ree, will be selecting people yeah. based on what you're wearing, I heard. I'm not actually sure. No, no, no. That's just how I'm going to identify you because I don't know any of your names. Yeah. So we had, we had talked about trying to do some cool DC theming around voting, but frankly, it, we're super lazy. We, we couldn't be bothered. <laughs> we had some ideas, but like they would have taken effort to, Im to implement and, well, you know, effort. Stone said you get mediocre prop comedy, which... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Grim Scenarios, a blood on the clock tower strategy uh, comedy and now variety podcast hosted by myself, Milk, and my co-host uh, slash uh, friend, Emma. Uh, this eh, is a, friend. Eh. This is a thing we do uh, weekly-ish, uh, if we can be bothered to remember to record. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, we hope you guys have fun. So uh, we thought for this week. Yeah, it's the world's premiere, of course, Cheese Thief Strategy Podcast. So I hope <laughs> you're all thief. here for. Yeah. Well, I hope you're all excited for a lot of cool Cheese Thief ships because <laughs> I have none. <laughs> I'm I, I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to do some more social type characters, uh, which is mostly what she's like the sleepy is. head, yeah, like the sleepy head, yeah. Uh, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do uh, something a little different than what we normally do on the podcast uh, because again we have all of you wonderful people here. Uh, instead of us trying to fool each other, we're going to try to fool you. So it's going to be more fun that In way. In a very fun game of cheese, of cheese thief. thief. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's it's a whole it's a whole thing. Uh, anyway, we will probably do that episode at some point too. No, our... that prank episode is coming. It will not yeah, be on yeah. April it's, Fool's. It's, it's gonna. It's just cheese gonna scenarios. A cheese scenario thief strategy podcast episode will be coming. Don't worry, it's not today. Uh, so uh, there will be audience participation today. Uh, it will be mostly audience participation and us being our wonderful selves that you enjoy listening to. Right. Uh, obviously, we are recording this. Theoretically, so like the camera's point is there, it's pointing this direction, so if you, it's gonna be hard for you to get on camera, but if you don't want to be on camera, but you do want to audience participate, don't like walk behind there and come over here. <laughs> you actively try to get into the camera's line. Go down the middle <laughs> and stand there where the camera definitely can't pick you up. Yeah, uh, so we're gonna do some social characters uh, or more social interactions today. Uh, and we thought, uh, since it's Clock Tower Con in DC 2024, and someone wonderful, Ekin and Marshall, wrote a script for this con, we thought we'd use their script. Yeah, the official con script. What a great idea. Let's go and take a look at the official con script slash a grim. Oops. Oh, no, that's I'm so bad at clicking it's, things. It's great. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> Every time I make that joke, the thing I want to delete in a post is not deleted. <laughs> uh, so this script is, of course, Doppelganger's Deceit by Clock Tower Con. It's been a theme at a bunch of panels. If you missed the Script Notes panel last night, well, that was your mistake. Script Notes is great. And they did a hard look at some of the interaction in the script. I have not thought about any of the interactions on this script. I just picked some characters, put them in a bag for my scenario I'm running. Um, but I do have some good news for you all. You're sat in seat number seven, so you can just refer to yourselves as seat seven for the rest of your lives now. Um, uh, we don't know any of your names anymore. You're all just seat seven. Yeah. Um, so you are the innkeeper. Ooh. Ooh. That means you're getting no information this game. That's right. 
<laughs> We're making it really easy for you to solve this one. <laughs> I assure you, the second scenario will be just as easy. <laughs> all right, so uh, you all are playing as the innkeeper. You have your lovely friends, seats one, two, three. Uh, you don't like seat four very much. <laughs> seat five, seat six, seat eight, seat nine, seat 10, seat 11, and seat 12. Uh, most of these characters will be played by me. Some of them will be played by Alex Milk. Me. Don't like calling him Milk in real life. It's weird to call a grown man Milk. <laughs> he has a problem with it. You can all call me Milk. <laughs> uh, and what is the good news for you? Well, you wake up today, and I'm going to tell you that in this scenario, we're going to do something a little artificial. Um, you're going to travel around with a friend each day. Those friends are either going to be seat four or seat eight. So someone shout out four or eight. Decide your friend for the day. Four. All right. Four it is. Hang on. So first you'll have your private conversation with your new best friend, Four. Just, I just, I, hang on. I just got to do, this just take a second. Just go, get vamp for a sec. Yeah, okay. I can vamp for a sec. What's everyone's favorite book of the Iliad? <laughs> and why is it? I'm just curious what other people's opinions are. <laughs> well, it's 24 books, so it's 24. Each each of the each each of the there's 24 books in the traditional divisions of the Iliad. So, book one is, of course, the confrontation between Achilles and Agamemnon, where they get in a fight over who gets to own the slave woman. Right, I'm here. Hello. <laughs> I'm Volk. <laughs> I'm in C4. I had no idea this prop comedy was coming. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. All right, so you're going to go have your private conversation with seat four first, and then you're going to go travel with seat four today to learn other things with the Grimm. So who wants to talk with uh, whatever the hell this is? <laughs> I saw that hand first. This is my job. Oh, uh, it's so hard for me not to call him someone. Jordan! <laughs> He's also not outside. Sorry? Hello? You're in the four. Oh. Hello, Hi. I'm Bork. I'm in seat four. How are you? I'm great. What are you? Oh, wait, before, before you tell me anything, I've got something important to tell you. I am the good twin. I trust you implicitly. Right? <laughs> I'm from Boston. <laughs> Terribly untrustworthy city. Really important to this conversation, too. Right, what are you? Um, since I trust you implicitly, I'll tell you I'm the innkeeper. Oh, right, innkeeper. That's good. That's a good. That's a good role. Yeah. All right. Uh, you can protect me. I'm the gossip. Awesome. What are yeah. you gonna gossip with you? Uh, you can do or not. I mean, everybody's gonna know that there's evil twin gossips. So, true, true, true. fun. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure why a storyteller would do this. It's very easy to prove. <laughs> <laughs> Good right. All right, I'm going to come around with you. For the record, we agreed on twin gossips together. <laughs> All right, now with your new best friend, the clearly good twin, um, you're going to go and talk to someone else. So someone volunteered to decide who you're talking to now that you found your new best friend for the day. This is why I'm here. Yeah, that's why I said someone volunteer. Nash. <laughs> Nash, you've been volunteered. <laughs> so who do you want to go with your good friend? Uh, Bulk! Let's <laughs> to C2. All right. You want to go see C2. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, what do you want to ask C2? You can try to get some information out of them. They'll probably be very reluctant because you're traveling with this fucker. <laughs> First question is, how much do you like Australia? The second question would be, uh, two for two. Ooh, two for two. Why two for two? Um, because Paul's there, they're going to be kind of cagey. <laughs> 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 All right, well, they say, uh, what was the first question? I forgot it already. How much do you like Australia? How much do you like Australia? Oh, they say, well, you know, Australia, it's part of the world. It exists. This guy's from there, so let's say a 17. From Boston. I'm not going to tell you the scale. Uh, and they say, sure, yeah, we can do a two for two. Uh, I am either 
the night watchman, or <laughs> this is always how two for twos go for me. So this is because I only ever have one plan in my head for what I'm going to lie about or tell the truth for. So like I have to pause after I do the lie or tell the truth that I was planning because I now have to figure out a second lie or truth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. I'm either the Night Watchman or the Raven Keeper. <laughs> I'm the evil twin or the gossip. <laughs> what do you want to share with this very trustworthy Night Watchman or Raven Keeper you found? Um, I guess I would ask them another question before I tell you that I have say, if you're a Night Watchman, have you used your ability? Uh, yeah, and I picked myself, obviously. That would be a crazy thing to do, right? No one sane would ever do that. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't do that. I'm saving it. I want to use it uh, later. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, I would say then I am either the innkeeper or the raven keeper. Ooh, fun. Uh, well, we can do this cool thing where you just park a protection on me until I give you the secret code. <laughs> and then uh, once I've given you the secret code, um, you remove the protection and then I use my ability. And then we can get a nice late night watchman ping off. If I'm the Night Watchman. Great. What's the secret code? Uh, how about it is, um, and this is a Yag Babel script, so don't read into this at all. Um, <laughs> how about the secret code is, uh, I'm a little suspicious of you. <laughs> That's not a Yag Babel phrase. <laughs> Probably not the Yag Babel phrase. Uh, yeah, someone else. Who do you want to talk to? Someone. Who's going to pretend to be our innkeeper now? I'll take it, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, talk to C10. C10. Right, let's go, friend. <laughs> uh, C10 says, hey, uh, how's it going? Weird that you're sort of traveling as a pair. Is that something you normally do when playing this game? No, it's an artificial thing you're doing for some weird reason. <laughs> oh, I'm good. <laughs> uh, they say, well, yeah, uh, I'm just hargling to people. I'm the village idiot. Uh, we had a nice council of idiots earlier. Um, I learned that someone was good. Hmm. Going into this, I was planning on just saying I, I was also the village idiot. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> but you didn't come to the council, so that'd no, be very weird. Unfortunately, the council is. Why would you lie to them? <laughs> <laughs> they told you their role. <laughs> Uh, well, they say, uh, the good news is I have uh, evil ping on seat two. Wait. <laughs> well, I'm in seat four. It's all right. How <laughs> uh, many uh, village did you have Oh, it was a very normal amount of four. <laughs> the regular amount. Um, I'll give you a, a two of Night Watchman or Raven Keeper. <laughs> Seems reasonable. Um, and did the village idiots think about uh, picking uh, the twins? Um, There's twins in this game? Now I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the good twin. I'm the gossip. Gossip. Who's your evil twin, by the way? Uh, seat eight. Yeah, I don't know if the you have your best friend you're going to travel with every day. It's either seat four or eight was a subtle clue, but... <laughs> You're traveling with seat four or seat eight every day. It's gonna switch. <laughs> I don't like the other guy. Who else are we talking to? No one. That's uh, three conversations. That's a pretty good That's amount it. for a day. Yeah, yeah, three conversations. Don't let your players have more than three or four conversations. It's too many. They'll get all confused. <laughs> all right. <laughs> now, so you're gonna to return to Town Square. Um, at this point, a lot of people know about the twins, so uh, Milk, you want to do some gossiping? No one else is going to really gossip. Because yeah, uh, twin gossips, it's basically, we all know what's up here. Ball could like to gossip that there is a, a demon in the uh, upper left corner between seat 9 and seat 12. The demon is between seat 9 and seat 12. All right. And what does uh, seat 8 want to gossip? Oh. 
Yes, I normal milk uh, will gossip. Oh, gross. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I will gossip that there. Uh, I will gossip that there are exactly two village idiots in this game. Exactly two village idiots in this game. Two players have the village idiot token. Oh wow, that's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do y'all have anyone you want to execute based off today's delightful conversations? <laughs> well, I'm a little bit suspicious of all these village idiots, and also, my evil twin has gossiped something about village idiots, which makes me think perhaps an evil player is hidden in the village idiots. I'd like to nominate uh, seat nine. All right. Uh, seat four nominates seat nine. What's your accusation to this right. person you haven't talked to yet? I don't know anything about them, but uh, no. Is it ten? Oh, I meant ten. No, well, you said nine. It's uh, too well, late. It's too late. Uh, yeah, sorry. I meant ten. Uh, my mistake. Uh, we don't have to kill seat nine. Uh, I don't know anything about them. Sorry, made a mistake. Uh, seat nine says, "Well, I'm a village idiot. I learned that seat well, four let's kill was, them. was good. So I think we've solved the twins, and we can just kill seat eight, right? Let's do that. Uh, who's with me? Kill seat eight. Kill seat eight. Yeah, I'm with you." Yeah, yeah. Kill seat eight. Uh, Kill seat eight. Yeah. But show of hands, who wants to vote on uh, seat nine, our village idiot here? Yeah, I'll do it. All right, and who doesn't? Eh, I don't think it's enough. Yeah, that's very close. I didn't actually count. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's uh, probably not enough. All right, that's not enough. So none of you vote on him. Uh, it doesn't get enough. Why? Is anyone out there? Does anyone out there who's playing as the innkeeper think they have someone they want to kill today? That's fine if you don't. Um, I frequently don't on day one. Yeah. I was. I will nominate seat six. Ooh. Seat six. Yeah. Right. All right. What's your accusation on seat um, six? The accusation is that the gossips um, have mentioned stuff with village idiots and with seats nine through seats twelve. Um, there is a vortex on script. I do not want to kill any of the village idiots or seats nine through twelve. I do want to kill somebody, though, so I think seat six is a great option. Well, seat six says, well, you have a problem there because you've nominated a village idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Who wants to vote on this village idiot here? Vote with me. Vote with me. Uh, yeah, right. It worked. All right, who thinks we shouldn't vote on this? <laughs> All right, this time I do know that clearly the yeas have it, so I'm going to say you vote on it and so do... Weirdly, five other people. It's like your votes are controlling this entire thing in this stupid simulated scenario we're doing. We have a lot more than five people here, so that's not the sense. important part of the story, mate. <laughs> uh, well, after seat uh, six gets on the black, seat six says, Well, I'm not actually a village idiot, but I am a plague doctor, and I don't want the storyteller to have the psychopath ability because they are a jerk. <laughs> Well, now you're gonna die anyway, so let's just kill you. <laughs> well, anyone want to nominate to lift this? Oh, right, I can't and you can't. Rough. Okay. Uh, well, seat six is executed and dies, and you all go to sleep. Uh, you have to pick two people to protect today, so who wants to be our night action taker? Brendan. Pick two people to protect, Brendan. And explain why. Oh, Lord. Um, <laughs> what you get for coming in late? Um, can we, who else is playing Village Idiot? Uh, seat 10, you know, and seat, oh wait, no, 9. Seat 9, nine. Oh, yeah, ten. Seat no, nine. 10 also. Yep. Yeah, seat 9 and 10. Seat 2 requested protection, but you don't know if they want it. 11 and 5. 11 and 5, interesting, interesting choices. Why well, I picked them. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you pick 11 and 5, Brendan? Let's talk about it. Because we know nothing about them, and um, that's perhaps they will tell us things tomorrow mm -hmm. based on our protecting them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that sounds all right. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> You've protected seat 11 and seat 5. Well, when you wake up that day, you find that seat 2 is dead. <laughs> And seat three is dead. Oh. Ooh. Two kills. Spooky, spooky. Yeah, right, my friends. It was definitely one of them. Up hey, we're talking. Our best friend is seat eight today. Oh, right. Let's Sorry. get rid of this. 
<laughs> All right, so, so you're going to travel around with seat A, who you also know to be in the twin gossip pair. Hello, it's me, Milk. <laughs> Look, that was probably a gossip kill. Could have been Yagababble, it's possible, but it probably was a gossip kill. I'm the real gossip, I'm not the evil twin, and uh, so I think there must only be two village idiots. So we should keep focusing on the village idiots and trying to sort that claim out. Mm, interesting theory. At least one of them's already come out as not what they were claiming. So if we can get it narrowed down, right, maybe we can kill our way through it. Right, I'm so the good one. Who do you all want to go talk to today? Yeah, I'm coming with you. <laughs> you can claim to him if you want, if you trust this guy. Absolutely. I mean, you claim to the other guy, right? Uh, oh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you were walking around with him all day. I assume you heard your claim. No? No? Yeah. You don't? We trusted him implicitly. All right. Reed, pick somebody to decide if they... Uh... Lovely dress. Oh, okay. Um... Hi, Paige. Hi. Well, do you want to tell him your role or not? I mean, him, me. I mean, me, him. I mean, I'm the gossip, and seat four is the evil twin. So you can tell me whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell. I'm trusting the whistle. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now you Inkeeper, guys are going to go talk to seat 11 because you picked them last night. I wonder how this is going to go. Who wants to have this conversation with seat 11? Ginger. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Seat 11 goes, hey, what's up? Um... Oh, seat eight's here. That's a little awkward. <laughs> well, I suppose I should just tell you. Village idiot. <laughs> I picked this guy last night and learned evil, and at the Council of Village Idiots today, my friend in seat five also picked this guy and learned evil. <laughs> I'm the good one. <laughs> I'd love that for you, Emma. I'm sorry, seat 11. <laughs> love that for you. I'm just a snake charmer. I have no <laughs> The fun things about these is we get so many different styles of how to play the same character in such a short <laughs> amount of time. So I can clear some people, but like, I'm not going to give you names yet because it's day two. So like, how about that? Anyway, you can tell yeah. this. Uh, village idiot claim was an evil on a twin pair that you picked last night as the innkeeper that they might be drunk. Uh, why don't we go talk to a dead player? Because it's important to include dead players, and you haven't talked to seat three yet. So who wants to have a very productive conversation with seat three? Huff does. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Huff? Uh, I'm just your dead dreamer. Um, I dreamt of you actually and saw that you were either the drunk or the psychopath. So are you the psychopath? Sure, let's do the psychopath test today, and I will prove you as prove you as a totally sober dreamer. Um, but by the way, um, I am. I will tell you and only you um, because um, you are awesome and you are dead. I am the innkeeper, so I could be drunk. That's fine. Um, I did um, pick C eleven and C five yesterday um, uh, for my innkeeping. Um, in addition, I think um, with that information, if I am drunk. But I think that's either C11, uh, I think C8 is going to be the, the good and C4 is the evil twin. And I think that if we are the sober one, based on the information, I think either C11 or C5 is normally the drunk, and the other one became drunk with the innkeeper, and I think C4 would be the evil twin in this case. I just wanted to let you know my theory since you're dead. Have fun. <laughs> wow. A complete theory for solving the twins already. <laughs> Uh, this is day two, so I think two conversations is a solid amount. They said I'm good, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> uh, anyone have anyone they want? Oh, but first, we should have the twins gossip today. Yeah, we should do a little gossip. Let's see. What do I want to gossip? Um, you know what? I trust you, and I don't want to get an extra kill today. So I'm going to gossip. I'm seat eight, and I'm going to gossip that there is no innkeeper in play. No innkeeper in play. All right, and what's seat four gossiping? Right. Um, I think uh, I'd like to gossip that uh, seat 
12 is not the demon. I also don't want to get an extra kill because it's bad for the town. See, 12 is the demon. Yes. Uh, not the demon, yeah, that's what I said. I gossiped it right the first time. Do you have an audience question? Yeah, what? Um, before nominations, could we um, psychopath kill seat uh, four, please? Oh, I'm not the storyteller. That's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the storyteller says, uh, no, you're not allowed to do that, but seat 10's dead, because I'm the psychopath. <laughs> Look what you did! Uh, C10 says, uh, I'm not a village idiot. I've been infiltrating their councils. I am the snake charmer. Uh, neither seat 9 nor seat 5 is the demon. Well, that helps a lot, actually. That really narrows down where the demon could be. Yeah. Doesn't it? I mean, I'm a twin. And seat four is a twin. And if it's not seat nine or seat five, it looks like it might be you. Does <laughs> <laughs> so anyone you all want to nominate today based off what you know about the Grimm? Uh, seat eight. Eight. Sorry, one. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. All right. I heard a lot of different numbers, so re-pick someone for me. Uh, Bruce. I like this system a lot better than the cards. <laughs> you were looking down, that's why I picked you. Pick some Ooh, Bruce nominates C8, going for the twin pair. What's your act? Why do we want? Why do we want to kill C8 in this twin I heard pair? Voices in my head that suggested C8 might be a kill. <laughs> Does anyone have a nice, solid bit of reasoning about why you want to kill C8? Because they turned on us super quick. Yeah. Just Yeah. What a jerk. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone else is like, we don't really want to go into the twin pair today, so if you guys vote or not, it's not going to go through. Uh, the twins aren't dying today. Let's move on. <laughs> do you, do you, any of you want to see anyone else nominated, though? Seat one. Seat one. Interesting. Why seat one? Uh, we haven't heard from them at all, and uh, if they say that they're the village idiot, I won't be dead. <laughs> uh, seat one says, I'm not the village idiot. I am the town crier. Um, I think this is potentially an evil nomination because they don't want me solving the twin pair. Um, not that either of the twins have nominated for some reason. Um, so let's not kill me. Like, let's let me live. I'm very important to town. Bort nominated yeah, on day yeah. one. That's true. Oh, they go, oh, right. Bort did nominate on day one. <laughs> Bort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they go, uh, well, I got a no, so if we could kill C8, I guess. <laughs> All right, uh, who wants to vote on this very... Wow. Very trustworthy person. C1 goes, okay, okay, I'm the Raven Keeper. Please put your hands down, please. <laughs> All right, seat one is going to get a lot of votes and get executed and die. Interesting stuff going on here. So who do you two want to protect tonight? I mean, you guys. Oh, here. yeah, it's nighttime now. Uh, red sweater. 12. Yeah, I was thinking 12 and 9. None of that's red sweater. <laughs> red sweater? Yeah, yeah, you. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> 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 Let's go 12 and 5. 12 and 5. Interesting. Well, you all wake up and see 12 is dead. That audience reaction, though. Ooh, I love that. Uh, C12 says, I was the mayor. Well, it looks like we didn't get the demon yet. Uh, <laughs> I think this solves the gossip, uh, the twin pair, because uh, there would have been an extra kill if uh, Bort, was the, Bort was the demon. I mean, Bort was the gossip, because he said 12 isn't the demon, and now, now 12's dead. 12, 12 wasn't the demon. 
Well, he's dead. He died in the night. Yeah, so there would have been an extra kill. said he wasn't dead. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, C5 could have been the demon cell. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not very good at being the gossip. Well, so what do we have in this game right now? We have a storyteller with a psychopath ability, right, which right. is fun. Uh, we have seats 11, 9, and 5, who are all claiming village idiots, and we have these two gossip chuckles. What were both classics yesterday? Right. I, I gossiped that C12 was not the demon. Uh, and I gossiped that there was no innkeeper in play. Seat 9 says, I'm a village idiot. I picked seat 4 last night and got that they were good. Seat 5 says, I picked seat 8 last night and got that they were evil. And seat 11 says, I got picked seat 8 last night and got that they were good. Right. Look, I know it looks bad, but think about this. What if seat 1 was the demon? They were really shifty yesterday, they gave weird information, and my gossip killed seat 12. Right, uh, a gossip kill would go through a mayor protection. Right, that makes sense, and uh, and that 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 works, I think. So I think seat one was the demon, and we just need to kill seat eight, and then uh, we win the game. All right. So there's six alive. Who thinks here that you guys are ready to make a decision on the twins? Hmm. <laughs> interesting. I don't think that's enough. So it's been agreed again that we're not executing twins today. So who do you want to kill? Does anyone in town claiming outsider that hasn't told us that? Anyone want to come out? The only outsider claim is the plague doctor claim. <coughs> so we're facing a plague doctor. Either that or 12 star pass. So uh, we only talked to Milk yesterday and not the board. Uh, could the board have been the Yag Babble? You guys remember how many times you said I'm the good one? First uh, he did say it twice. Twice, yeah. yeah. Um, that's possible that they're both evil, maybe. I'm the good one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, the psychopath kills seat 11, by the way. Well, that simplifies things, doesn't it? Look, I think we need to kill my evil twin today because there's only four of us. There's only five of us left. We don't want to go into final three with possibly a demon and a, and a twin pair. Seat's five information is that seat... One was evil, seat four was good, and seat eight was evil. Um, could we get seat nine's information? Uh, seat nine goes, yes, my information is seat five good, seat eight evil, or, and seat four good. And eleven says, my information is that seat four is good and seat eight is evil. Can I ask the audience a question? Uh, do we think that seat one could have potentially been the demon and the go were the drunk and then the gossip? Because I think both gossips would have been um, correct. So I think we might have killed the demon in seat one already. We're trying to claim raving people to save themselves. Um, and that we just have the twins left. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. The, the original demon has to be dead. The two snake charmer picks, the twins, and we are alive. See? We got them! Let's go! Ooh, why? Yeah, alright, good, good. Alright. Uh, we had two kills one day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My gossip was. Uh, no. 9 through 12. So it was the assassin trying to make the fake gossip look real. I think, I think that we killed the demon yesterday, but I think the assassin killed the mayor in the night to cover for the dead demon to make it look like 
I'm the evil one, but I'm not evil. I'm good. I'm the good one. Because, <laughs> because we're sober and it's a Vortox game. Thank you. I don't know if, it, if the demon's dead, I don't think it can be the Vortox game because we got eight evil last night and then eight evil the night before. That was two different. Two different. Uh, two different village idiots. We're not running two any different house village rules. Idiots. If we're sober, who's the other? Uh, that's Could be anywhere. Could have been the Raven Keeper. Oh no, that's the imp. Oh, got it. Snake, Snake, Charmer. Charmer. Snake Charmer could be drunk. Yeah. I have a follow-up question for the board. Is it, this is yeah, 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 on bulk. Based upon your day one yeah. gossip, you said that seat yeah. 9 to 12, one of them is the demon. Yeah, one of them is the demon. Perfect. On day two, you decided to gossip. Seat uh -huh. 12 is not the demon. Yeah, I was trying to narrow it. I was trying to narrow it down. But we already got rid of seat 10 from, uh, I think it was a, a night kill or something. So based upon your gossip that you believe triggered because we had two kills in the night, uh, and you said it was true, <laughs> Yeah. Either 12, 11, or 9 would have been essentially the demon for your gossip, but you just said, I don't want to get another kill, and then decided to say uh, now, that seat 12 is not the demon. How would you know that that would not gain a kill? Oh, I didn't. I was guessing. It was a 50-50. I could have said seat 12 was the demon, right? It's, a, it's just a different way of gossiping. That is certainly how percentages work. Yeah. <laughs> Look, my world, I'll just, I'll just recap. The world where I'm the good twin, which is the true world, I'm the good one, <laughs> is the world where uh, one of seat three or seat two was assassin killed to cover the other, the evil twin's gossip, and then uh, my gossip killed seat 12 last night. My world is that uh, my gossip killed seat uh, one of seat two or seat three, and that uh, that there are only two village idiots in the town. One of these village idiots is a liar, and that the assassin killed seat twelve, the mayor, last night. And it's a vortex game. I don't think it's a vortex game. I, I think all the information's lining up perfectly. I think one of the village idiots is a liar. No, they're all claiming to have checked seat four and all claiming to have gotten an evil on seat four. Or so good on seat four and eight. They've all seen, claim to have seen evil. Well, no, seat 11 says they got a good on both of them. Uh, they got a good on seat four the night we in kept to protect them and seat eight the next night. Look, there's no point in waiting around anymore. I'm nominating seat four. Seat four is the evil twin. This will end the game. Let's be done with it. All right, who here is ready to vote on seat four? All right, hands up high so we can figure it out. Oh, I can't believe it. How dare you, Molly Bok? Oh, that is one, two, like five, eight, 10, 13, 14. Essence seats over here. So like I see like five over there, that's 19, 22. I count 22 hands. So many votes. <laughs> Does anyone here want to kill seat eight? Ooh, one, two, yeah, all nominate three, seat eight. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You voted tw 17, 22 to 17 that you want to go in on this seat four as the evil twin. Why would you do this? Oh, I'm the good one. So naturally you're very persuasive and your execution follows through in this uh, crisis of conscience you had in your head. Got him. <laughs> uh, all right, well, the game ends. Of course it does. <laughs> we killed the evil twin. <laughs> or the good twin. Or the good twin. Okay. What's he yeah. about? Oh. Which one? Alright, so who thinks, who wants to take a stab at what demon's in play? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's an imp. Cool. Okay. Anyone Anybody else? The Vortox somehow. <laughs> I'm sticking with the Agamemnon. I, 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 I think it became the Agamemnon. I think it's the Vortox somehow. I thought it was the Vortox. I think it's a secret pit hag. Ooh, secret pit hag world. Love that. 
All right, Emma. Well, give it to him. It is, in fact, an imp game. Seat one was, in fact, the imp. The misinformation was wild because of the innkeepers drunking the sober village idiot in seat 11 on a key night when they picked an evil twin. <laughs> I'd wonder why they happened to pick an evil twin that night. <laughs> it's fun when you get to control everything. Uh, our dreamer was, in fact, the drunk, which explains why they dreamt us as the drunk. Uh, seat nine was an assassin, not a village idiot. Uh, but I wanted to emphasize that Evil really should be bluffing Village Idiot more. Uh, when we did the release game uh, for Village Idiot, Patters and I were the knowing evil team. We also had a marionette, don't worry about that. And we both immediately looked at this character and said, we're just bluffing Village Idiot. We don't care what bluffs Ben gave us. And I was like, also worried, like, is this going to become too meta? Is like, everyone just always going to do that? But instead what I've seen is evil teams never bluff Village Idiot unless it's specifically given to them, and even then only one of them does? That's wild. Bluff Village Idiot. <laughs> like, you poison the well of information. Like, these are characters who, is, who like, develops based around the existence of extra Village Idiots creating misinformation. And if the evil team's not bluffing that, it, it becomes really easy for the good team to cut through that information and solve. Mm -hmm. um, so, seat nine was bluffing Village Idiot. Seat 10 was also bluffing Village Idiot because they were the snake charmer. Seat 6 was bluffing Village Idiot because they were the plague doctor. Um, the Night Watchmen didn't get to use their ability because you refused to protect them. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, seats 8 gossip did, in fact, kill because there was only two Village Idiots in place, Seat 11 and Seat 5. Seat 5 was, of course, the drunk Village Idiot uh, and got entirely bad information for the most part. Uh, Seats 4's gossips didn't kill, and the assassin panicked and killed seat 12 when the demon died to try to prevent you from realizing that the demon was dead. Wait, does that mean I was the evil one? I can't believe you brought your weird-ass Bort impersonation into this and made Bort evil just so you could be good. I think we all know the real lesson here is he's evil. Yes. <laughs> 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 Can't keep getting away with it. All right, that's the first scenario. Give us like two minutes and we'll switch over for the second one. All right, are you ready? All right, everyone, you are, what are you? I need to my notes. Come on, notes, notes, come on. I need to look at your notes. Yeah, you need to look at my notes. I need to look at my notes. We're very organized. Uh, all right, uh, oh, hello, you are, really, seat, seat five? You're in seat five? You yeah. are. You are the, you are, you are the snake charmer in seat five. Let's go find that demon. And on night one, you get to pick someone. Ree, would you mind picking someone in the audience for us? to select whether or not we become the demon. Ruth! C12, okay, I better check my notes. Well, this, this is gonna be a really short episode uh, because you are now the snake charmer. And on day one, Ruth, since you're, since you're, still, uh, since you're still here, you made a pick for us. Um, you, uh, you all wake up and you come into the, you come into the town square and uh, a few people, uh, a few people go off together immediately, uh, including myself, that's me, Milk, and Emma, along with another player, the player in seat six. And we all go off together very quickly after calling for village idiots to meet up in one of the side rooms over there. All three of us go, go over there. Oh, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna come? Oh, okay, great. Oh, you're a village idiot too. Ah, somebody's learned a lesson. <laughs> well, this seems this seems odd. It looks like it looks like there are four village idiots in this town. Uh oh. All right, we can solve this. We'll put this piece of cheese in the middle, <laughs> and one of us visit a village idiot. We'll steal the cheese when we're all not looking. <laughs> Thank goodness there's only four village idiots in this room right now. Hold up! Oh. <laughs> oh look, it's our wonderful editor, Ree. I'm the village idiot. 
<laughs> we have three, four, five village idiots in our town. Let's go ahead and mark them all up. Bree is seated in seat 12. Oh, good, I'm not the demon. <laughs> uh, seat six, of course, is your uh, is your village is your village idiot in seat six, and seat four is uh, me, your village idiot, and uh, seat three is Emma, also your village idiot. Well, this is going to take a bit of doing. Why don't you all start first? What did you get last night? Seat twelve is good. <laughs> seat twelve is good. Okay, great. Seat twelve is good. It's me. You, you're good. Well, why don't you share your information next since you got, since you, uh, since you, since you uh, were good, are good. Well, fun fact. C5 is also good. So C we're just confirming each other. You're both good. How lucky for you. Confirmation. Yeah. Confirmation. Me and Ruth, baby. Uh, Emma, would you like to share what village idiot information oh, yeah. you got? Seat nine, evil. All right. Probably the cheese thief. And I, Milk, the uh, definitely not drunk village idiot, also learned that seat 12 is good. So we've got a lot of people confirming seat 12, who is definitely good and definitely a village idiot. But what did seat six get? Uh, yeah, so, oh, sorry. Unfortunately, I, seat six, am not in fact a village idiot. I just wanted to come here and make friends and be a part of what Get out of here, this is a council for idiots. Be ashamed Go away. I, 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 okay, I'm, I'll leave now. Uh, no, I, I, think, I think I'll just go now. I think I'll just leave. Uh, no, you cannot now because nominations are not open. So, so. so what does anyone think about this cadre of uh, village idiot information with two goods on C12, one of them from C5, who also has a good on them from C12, and then, of course, me with C9 evil. What do we, what do we learn from four village idiots and that set of good things? What do we think we learn there? C12's the minion, the other ones are evil too. Hey! I think that's the wrong one. No. No, <laughs> yeah. okay. no, it's Brendan's job. <laughs> All right, well, we've got a whole bunch of village idiot information off the hop, but you probably want to talk to some other people, don't you? No. Well, we're all going to split up and go in our own separate ways. Uh, re pick somebody. Brendan. Sweet. Other one. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. No, no, yes, you are other Brendan. Yeah. Uh, let's go talk to seat seven. Seat seven. Who's seat seven? Oh, seat seven. Hey, what's going on, Brendan? Nothing much. I'm just an idiot. You're an idiot? Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you go to that whole meeting of all the idiots? Absolutely. Yeah. I have, I have a membership card, <coughs> so I had to go. Seat, seat, seat six came slinking back out of that meeting and seemed pretty uh, disappointed with the outcome. Yeah. They tried to fake being a village idiot? How dare they? Uh, well, I'm also a village idiot. I didn't mean to go to the thing. I didn't want to get involved with all that business. So, yeah, I think, you know, I think probably, um, you know, we'll just, we'll, just have to figure, we'll just have to figure it out a little bit later. I mean, I get it. It's bureaucracy, but you, you should, uh, if you want to continue being a member, you do need to attend the meetings. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just, it's, it's part of the, part of the whole process. You know, I'll catch up with people a little later on. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so what did you get? Uh, I got the, uh, 12 was good. You got the 12 was good. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, I got, uh, what did I get? I need to look at my notes again. What did I get? Uh, I got that, uh, I got that seat eight is evil. <laughs> All right. Well, who wants to go next? Lady with the bow in her hair. Lady with the bow in her hair. Uh, Hello. <laughs> who would you like to talk to? You get one more chat today. Um, can we talk to seat two? Seat two. Absolutely, you can talk to seat two. C2, okay, C2 says, hey, what's going on there? Friends, all of you together. Hi, um, 
I'm part of the Council of Village Idiots. Ah. Uh, Are you also a village idiot? No, uh, and I may consider taking away your zoning permit. I'm the mayor. <laughs> I think we're going to need a no idiot zone fairly soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get hasty here. Village idiots should be welcome wherever they want to go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. VIP parking. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, looks like seat two. Uh, yeah, so let's all clap. Now, who would like to call for the exile of Happy? <laughs> But if you do enjoy Habby's comedy, uh, please check out Habby and Navian on CT on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm just glad we don't have a coffee pasta. Yeah, well, you need one. <laughs> all right, everybody. Uh, that's about all you're going to get for today, so let's all come back to the town square. Is there anyone that you all would like to nominate today? Yes. Seat six, kill the interloper. <laughs> all right, uh, we nominate C Yo, here's a tale about a lady named Emma. We're in a podcast together and she's a real dilemma. She's like with the words, playing on the clock tower like a fool in a fucking game. She got no real power. Emma might be a genius with a devious schemes, like a mastermind, if you know what I mean. When it comes to trust, she's a total wreck. In grim scenarios, she is always a suspect. We gather in a circle and the game is on Emma's already fucking like a tricky mignon Might not notice when she changes her glasses Philo thinks the animal tricked all of our asses <laughs> You get her on the block and you think you caught her And Emma sleeps away with a claim of butler <laughs> In the clock tower circle she's a tricky foe But kill milk, not even with a fully charged <laughs> Emma, oh Emma, with your clever little friend. She's the queen of deception, but she can't always win. So get up for milk, the real king of it. Man, face it, I already got away with it. Still the most confirmed. <laughs> yeah, because we're confirmed by the most confirmed, which makes us more... Double confirming. Super confirmed. Super confirmation. Right, which makes her more confirmed, which makes us more I've been here the whole yeah. time. <laughs> well, we're going to have to sort this out, but I guess we'll sort it out later. Why don't we have another conversation with a person who's not an idiot? Maybe somebody who's not an idiot can sort this out. Molly Bach? Uh, I'd like to go to seat one. Molly Bach wants to talk to seat one. Let's talk to seat one. Hello, I am very excited to talk to you. Because I am the pixie. What did you see? I saw gossip, and so I have the gossip ability. But I don't really have a good idea of the game state because I was in a double claim yesterday. People didn't really want to tell me stuff. So I need some help crafting my pixie gossip. Well, surely you gossiped yesterday's the pixie. Yeah. You gossip? Oh, it, it was irrelevant. It was just some made-up stuff. Yesterday, I just gossiped some, some random stuff, yeah. Mm. Uh, I think you should gossip that there is not a mayor in play. Yeah. I should gossip there's not a mayor in play. Correct. All right, no mayor in play. I'm going to gossip that today, no mayor in play. Anybody else, any other ideas, or are we good with that? There are three players in play that have the village idiot tokens. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Those are both good. No mayor in play or three village idiots. What do we think, town? Who wants no mayor in play? Actually, I, I want that, actually. Oh. <laughs> All right. Your, your, your pixie gossip in seat one is going to gossip today that there is no mayor in play. Let's go with the mayor. By the point of the night order that the gossip would go, uh, the pixie would have, uh, sorry, would have the gossip's ability. So yeah, they just gossiped something silly which didn't kill anyone. Last I can't be bothered to remember what I was going to have them gossip. Oh, I can. Oh, sure. Go ahead, Emma. They were going to gossip. There is a multi kill demon in play, which is oh. what they gossiped. Yeah. Is that actually what they gossiped? Yeah. Oh, look, I took notes. Yeah, okay, they gossiped there is a multi kill demon in play. There, there was go. no extra kill. No mistakes. There was no made. extra Don't kill. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so it's fine. Oh, look at that. I wrote down all the gossips, too. What are the single kill demons? So it's Imp and Vortox are the single kill demons. So that's good. That's super helpful. We got a pixie gossip and information. That's helpful that I definitely forgot about. Uh, anyway, uh, let's put has ability here as well because that person's definitely a pixie and definitely real. All right. So back to the town square, I think. We're basically done with uh, those kind of conversations. Village idiot chat takes a long time. 
Who do we want to nominate today? Or they just don't. Cody? Seat 11. Seat 11. Why do we want to nominate seat 11? Because if it's a Vortex game and neither us or 10 are drunk, they are the demon. Okay, if it's a Vortex game, if either I, one of us or 10 are drunk, they are the demon. Could be good. Uh, seat 11 says, I'm okay to die. I just need to go have a storyteller consult first. So I'm going to go do that, and then we can kill me for Vortex purposes. That sound good, everybody? Everybody on the board with that? Okay, great. I'm going to go talk to the storyteller. Seat 11 goes and talks to the storyteller, and then comes back and says, okay, I have some, I have some information, uh, but I don't want to share it just yet. Uh, I'd like to wait until tomorrow and see who's still around at that point. Uh, and that obviously makes this player the fisherman. <coughs> so we're going to vote on and kill the fisherman today because we want to get through this and Vortox stuff as possible. So we all vote on and execute this nice fisherman. Everybody all agrees that the fisherman has to go. Oh, C3 didn't agree. Oh, C3, C3 doesn't agree C2. that the fisherman... Oh, you want to nominate seat two? Yeah. You don't agree? Okay, well, great. Let's keep going. Well, what do you want to do, seat, two, seat three? Why do we want to kill seat two? Seat three says, the village idiot information is weird, and there's too many of us. But I do believe I'm the drunk idiot, and seat two would be a good kill. Interesting. Anybody else? I'm the confirmed village idiot. We should go after my information. Has the, has the pixie made their gossip yet? Uh, yes, the pixie gossips that there is no mayor in play. Yes, the pixie gossips. No, no one else gossips. Nothing else happens. All right. Well, what do we want to do, town? Do we would we rather vote on this than on uh, the seat eleven, the fisherman? Probably, maybe. No, no, you don't want to. You don't want to go after this. Okay. Yeah. Anybody want to vote on it? Hands up. No, nobody. Okay. Yeah. One or two. Yeah. Oh well. Well, yeah. All right. All right, well, uh, nope, looks like we're killing seat 11, uh, unless you want to nominate someone. I want to nominate seat 7. Oh, seat 12 wants to nominate seat 7. Seat 12, why? Because I got 7 as evil. I also got 7 as evil. I think it's a great idea. Let's kill seat 7 instead. Wait, here it goes. Yeah. All right, who wants to vote on seat 7? Yes, not quite enough, I think. We're still killing seat 11, I'm afraid. All right, seat 11 is executed and dies. Everybody goes to sleep. Who's making the snake charmer pick? Re, pick somebody. Navian. Oh. Oh, Navian. Navian is. I want to try so to become a demon, so I pick seat two. Yeah. You pick seat two. You're still the snake charmer. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, uh, you, wake up the following, you wake up the following morning to discover that, uh, unfortunately, the player in seat one has died, and the player in seat nine has died. The player in seat nine says, well, 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 look at this. I was your raven keeper. <laughs> and I checked seat seven last night. Seat seven is the assassin. Oh. Seat seven is the assassin. I'm also confirmed. I got good information. Emma's the drunk one. All three of us are good. Three good village idiots, everybody. Oh, well, you're the evil one, obviously. You're lying and faking being a village idiot. How dare you? No, they confirmed me. Oh. <laughs> and I have good information. Hmm. Because you're the most trustworthy. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, who do we want to... Uh, no, uh, uh, so uh, seat two, uh, you picked, uh, but uh, seat two... Uh, oh, you picked them. Oh, night three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Mm. Yeah, all right, well. So what did us village... Let's have a council of idiots. Yep, time for the council of idiots once again. <laughs> all right, idiots. What did you get? It's your turn to go first. We picked seven and got evil. You picked seven and got evil? Seven's definitely evil, right? We definitely got to get seven. What did you get? I picked seat... Yeah, that's a good question. What did I pick? Seat. Are you in seat three? Yeah. <laughs> You're good! <laughs> <laughs> There's the time. <laughs> Confirmed! I picked seat 12, and I got evil. But I, I don't believe that seat 12 is evil. I mean, seat 12 is very confirmed. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Am I the drunk one? Yeah. I just a follow-up question. Uh, did you pick seat 12 twice? No, I picked. Uh, no, I picked uh, seat. Oh yeah, I did pick seat 12 twice. Yeah, yeah. So that's really weird. Am I the drunk one? 
I mean, I kind of think you're the demon. Me? Yeah. Why? Who's the trump Oh, I picked seat five and got evil. Yeah. Seat five was evil. No, that's not You're the demon. All right, well, we're down to five players left, and we're mostly through our time for today. Uh, so, six players? Yeah. Oh. Five, six. Eh, five, six. We're going to kill seat seven today, right? Like, seat seven's getting executed today no matter what. Anybody think seat seven shouldn't die today? Yeah, seat seven's dead. I mean, not that that's the that's the Probably the assassin, but hey, let's get him out of here, right? They're the assassin. Let's get him out of here. And then in the night. Oh, sure. Uh, the fisherman's advice is, uh, the fisherman's advice was, you should look closely at the village idiots. Yeah. <laughs> hey, with those notes, can you just add seat 12 good confirmed? Seat 12 good confirmed, yeah. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, in the night uh, this time, uh, we lose seat 12. Oh, you pick, you pick, sorry, you pick first. That's right, I forgot. Okay, it's, uh, it's time, it's time. Okay, big, big choice. Kelsey? Seat four. Yes. Picking seat four. You are the snake charmer. Oh. And unfortunately in the night, seat 12 does still die. Sorry, you're dead. You don't get more information. All right, who wants to kill today? Who thinks that there's a viable three evil alive world? No, no three evil alive world. Who thinks there's a Vortox world and we need to kill someone today? Or at least kill a dead body. Okay. We're killing a dead? All right. Let's kill a dead player. All right. Uh, we're going to nominate and kill. Oh, let's kill seat seven again for being the assassin. How fucking rude of them. All right. Uh, and we all go to sleep. And surely nothing bad will happen in the nighttime. We wake up after you pick. I know, I know. Who are you picking? Raise your hands if you want seat three. Raise your hands if you want seat two. You select seat three. No, wait, what? I want five. Too late. I want us. You pick seat three. You are the snake charmer. Oh, no. You wake up in the morning and discover you died in the night. Three players left alive. Two idiots. One mayor. Uh, yeah, the player that died in the night is you, seat five. Oh, yeah, sure, I can probably remember. Uh, it was... First, it was. Uh, who died in the night first? The gossip died in the night first? No, no the, the gossip, gossip was executed. Was seat 10 the night. Seat 10. Then it was seat 1, the pixie claim. Seat and 1 seat died. 9, and seat the raven keeper. 9, the raven keeper. Then it was seat 12, then it was seat 5. Then seat 12, then seat 5. See? That's why I've got Emma here to remember stuff. My last two nights of information, for what it's worth, were seat 4 good, seat 6 good. I think I'm the drunk village idiot. I've thought that most of the game. My last two nights of information are seat two evil, seat three evil. But as the confirmed village idiot, I got seat three is good. So we have to sort this out, everybody. Where's the demon? Where's the fake village idiot? Where's the real village idiot? Well, we know we're the fake village idiot, right? The fake village idiot was just seat seven. So that must mean that seat two is the demon. Remember this one check. I think seat two and seat four are evil, and I'm the last good player alive. So what I'm saying is, y'all got to pick for me. I'm not doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any seats? Well, somebody star passed, and then I still yeah. think it would probably be to seat two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's seat two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have about like two minutes, so. Who votes for seat two? Have we had any reported pit hangings? No. Who votes for seat four? Who votes for seat three? So wait, you, oh, oh thank you. I appreciate that, yeah. So everybody thinks Emma's good. Does anybody think Emma is 
the sober village idiot? No. Everybody thinks Emma is the drunk village idiot. No. Does anybody think Re is good? No. I confirm. Does anybody think Re is a sober village idiot? I died in the night. What did I do? Star pass? <laughs> Who thinks I am a village idiot? Does anybody think I'm actually a village idiot? All right. Well, you've gotten it quite well. Uh, you might notice that our beanies have uh, little, little colored <laughs> propellers on top. Uh, mine, of course, is red because I am, in fact, I am, in fact, oh. the imp. <laughs> I got away with it. <laughs> I am, in fact, the imp. Yes, uh, the player in seat two is uh, your pit hag. No, what was the pit hag doing this game? So the pit hag, uh, the pit hag made a few mistakes in this game. Uh, the pit hag was trying to make a drunk, and then the pit hag was trying to. Uh, so the pit hag was trying to change players into uh, other things. Uh, the pit hag did uh, not make anybody into anything because I'm an incompetent moron that forgot to write down the pit haggings. <laughs> <laughs> But that's not the important part of the story. The important part of the story is to talk about how the way that people present themselves communicates. This is something we can't ever do on the podcast, right? The way that you say things, right? The way that you communicate with each other is a huge part of playing Blood on the Clock Tower. This is the strategy part, by the way, right? So when someone says to you, for example, what did, what did you say several times? I'm confirmed. She you. said she was confirmed by you. She's the good village idiot. All her information lines up. Emma's information didn't make sense. It never made sense. Never made sense at Starting all. Starting with the fake village idiot, even with the fake village idiots in there, the information that I had just did not make sense. And my information made a little bit of sense. Because you knew. Because I knew where the evil players were. I could call out seat seven as evil because they're my assassin and they're spent. So, well, I think that's about it for us. Yeah, we probably need to go. There's another panel starting at uh, 1.30, so we need to wrap up pretty quickly. Anyway, Thank you all very much. Thank you all for coming and joining us. Uh, we hope all your scenarios this weekend remain grim. <laughs>